princess and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. This one's a fun one for me because it's all about the dogs. Well, not all, but mostly. So anyways, the first item is the only thing not dog specific and it is a new, brand new item. This is the reactive belt bag sling in Paisley Wave Fish. Um, so here's the thing. It comes with two pouches and they're currently strung all bass backwards on this belt, but we'll get to that. <laughs> but the one pouch is big enough for a cell phone, so my 6S Plus with the Vera Bradley case on it does fit in the zipper pocket very easily, very nicely. And there's plenty of room for other things in there as well, because as you can see, there's a good, you know, two fingers worth, an inch or more. Um, in there. The inside is lined with a like a nice nylon blue with the Fair Bradley diamonds. The front has a plastic clip with an elastic on this bottom and the phone also fits in there so it's like a slip pocket in there. However, it does fit but this top you know you kind of have to make sure it gets up and in and then see at the edge of the phone I mean the uh, edge of the pocket right there and the lip comes together because there's elastic on the bottom of this, it will close. If it weren't elastic, you'd be SOL, you know what I mean? Um, but because of that, it does fit in that pocket and actually quite nicely. It's not difficult to close. It's definitely not gonna fall out. And that frees up your entire big pocket for other items. So that's for sure for me how I will plan to carry it. Um, but just a couple caveats with that. Um, so both the top and the bottom are elastic on them. So there's a little bit of give in those pieces. Um, it is chunky zippers, which is fine. It's reactive. It's, it's you know, meant to take a beating, if you will. Um, I got this particular pattern because I thought that I'm not really a belt bag person, and I have slings for the sake of slings. So for me, and, and this is the first elastic belt that I've seen come out. So that's great, but it also is, to me, not going to be as durable over the long term. So there's trade-offs there. Um, but for me, I did not intend to use it as a belt bag at all. And I'm really not partial to these tunnel style of belt bag fixtures because they tend to be a very tight fit for putting the belt in and out. That one wasn't too bad getting off. But I can put this on any belt bag, any belt bag that will fit in that tunnel. So for me, that's what I bought it for. Um, not knowing this was elastic actually, because I don't always read the details. Um, but let me take this one out and we'll talk about this other pouch. But see, I have the, the lug huggy, I have some other, you know, belt bags and, and other things, but I also thought these would be an excellent size and format for pouches inside other bags, like my reactive totes and whatnot. Um, so that's just me, but that's what I bought them for was to be like this, pouches inside other things. Um, this does have a lot of adjustment on it. It does have adjustment from both ends. Um, I'm a big girl and without adjusting it out, this would fit on me because, I mean, look at how much stretch it has to it. So depending on how much you want to challenge the elastic, you can, and it's just the quick, easy clip there. Um, the other pouch, again, has the tunnel fixture for the belt bag portion. On the front, it has a chunky zipper and inside here, there's no organization. It's a relatively flat pocket, but I think it would fit a coin purse. It may, it may fit a zip ID. Not certain, I haven't tried that. And then the main pocket, again, chunky zipper. Inside here, you have three RFID card slots, and then you have a nice, big, thick pouch, two fingers, about an inch plus. And then it has some bulkability to it, if you know what I mean. So even though it's only an inch thick, if you don't have things filled to the top, you can kind of, you know, fill up that pouch. So I look forward to giving it a try and seeing what all it will hold, but two new pouches that came as one. <laughs> That's my plan. Okay, oh, I love these overalls with the pocket right here for my phone. All set. Okay, so the doggy stuff, I did not get everything. All right. Oops, I keep dropping that. Um, I'm waiting for the leash, and the leash will match the harness, so it'll be the tennis balls. And I want to say they glow in the dark, but I don't think they actually do. But wouldn't that be cool and so smart? 
So if they don't, which I don't think that they do, um, gosh, they circa. I might even modify it and add like some glow in the dark paint dots on there so that this can glow in the dark because that's cool. Um, but this itself, okay, so it's a reactive exterior material. So this is reactive. And on the inside, it has this super soft, like microfiber type um, side that goes towards the dog, which is really lovely, I think, more comfortable for, for the dog. I did try this on Kelly and it fits great. This is the large. She's a big girl, but I had to put it all the way to the smallest settings on all four straps and it fits her perfect. So there is some good adjustability to it. Um, how you put it on is you put the smaller T, so there's like, it's like an X configuration. You put the smaller end of it facing up. Uh, I suppose you could do it the other way, but that doesn't make sense uh, to me. Uh, let me see. Wait, or does it? I guess that doesn't really matter. You know, if you put it with the big side up, it's, Vera Bradley is upright, but that would be down their belly. I had it on her this way with the broader part across her chest and up to her back because I thought, I didn't even look at the tag. I just thought that would make more sense. Um, but I, I think it doesn't matter because it's, you know, it's got the symmetrical. So do what works for you and your dog and their shape, not just their size. Um, but what it does is it comes together and clips, so it's not going to fall off or anything. And then you hook your, your leash right onto both of these, and that gives it a little extra cinch factor and takes the stress off of the plastic clip. So the, the metal rings there are taking all the force of whatever's pulling on it. So there you go. But four-way adjustable and very comfortable. She did not mind it at all. We'll do some pictures with her. And another time, maybe I'll put them on Instagram, um, all decked out in her new outfit once her leash comes. Come on. You want to tell them all about it? Yeah, I know. Mwah. Yeah, so she, she doesn't mind it. She just loves to go for W-A-L-K. Doesn't care what she has to wear to do it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's magical fluff time. Yeah, someone's shedding. Um, anyways, okay, so matching that, I got the little doggy poo bag holder thing. You don't have to use this for poo bags. You could actually use it for other things like a bag charm on your own bag, honestly. Um, it's reactive and then it's lined on the inside with like a, a gray nylon interior with the VB diamonds. But it's a good little size, so it actually fits the whole roll of doggy bags, no problem. It's got these cute little handles to hold it. You, so you can hold it this way. You can strap something else through it. Or it has its own clip. Excuse me, I have a hiccup. So you can clip it right on. You can clip it to the harness. You can clip it to their leash, you know, wherever. I always have them hooked on all of my leashes. So no matter which one I grab, I'm always prepared because you never know uh, when you're going to need it. So there. So I got the poo bag that matches, uh, or the poo bag holder that matches the harness. And then I also, even though I don't normally put handkerchiefs or scarves on my dog, um, that's not to say that I never ever dress them up. I do sometimes put a costume on or a little something. But, but this, um, I do think they're cute and I do have a friend that would absolutely love this if I decide not to use it for Kelly. Um, but I did get it for Kelly um, just to kind of dress it up a little bit. She's black and white so this actually matches her, not just thematically. Uh, but this is the kind that you put through her collar. So you, you thread the collar through and then it's it's held on by the collar, which is good. Um, some people put them on the back of the dog, you know, so it's like up there. And some people end up having them kind of hanging. Um, I think it's kind of at the whim of where the collar goes, honestly. Um, but this is the best in show print, of course. And it's a great assortment of different breeds and different characteristics and personalities of the dogs. I'm super, super happy with this pattern placement because I got some of my primaries for my girls. I've got Lucy's number one pose right here. This little dog laying down with a little toy. Um, Lucy's a black lab and she's no longer with us, but that is so her with just her sweet, sad eyes. Um, just mellow as I'll get out. And then Kelly is in multiple personalities. 
But this is her just kind of bleh, relaxed or happy and just chilling. And this one, unfortunately, is under the tag. And I might take the tag off, but, but that little dog right there is totally her, the way she lays a lot with her little hands crossed like a little princess. Um, anyways, and then my aunt, Scotty, she has a brown one now, but she's had black and brown ones. And I have a dear friend that has Scotty's as well. So those are kind of my three favorites on this one. There, I love them all though, I love all the doggies. So, um, the back is not double layered, so it is just the back side of that fabric uh, there. Okay, so enough about that. And then I got the Doggy Travel Water Bowl set. It is two bowls. Actually, this is great, I love it, because it's squishy, you know, so you could put it inside anything. It's reactive, so it's waterproof, you can um, you know, it's very pliable and flimsy. So, you know, I have a whole bag of doggy things that I always kind of keep in the car so that if we go to a park, we'll have a bowl, we'll have a ball to throw, we'll have some training snacks. So I just kind of always have a little thing like that either in the car or right at the door at the garage where I can take it in and out. Um, but this is a nice little set actually, it's such a great idea. It's not an everyday all the time kind of bowl, certainly not for me at least. Um, but great on the fly option for traveling when you're feeding your dog or giving them water really anywhere you go. Um, it's lightweight, so you can clip it on. It comes with this little clip on here, so you can clip it onto your backpack or you know, put it on your belt bag. You know, you put it on your like for me, hook it right on my huggy chuggy, where I put um my other things when I'm going out for walking the dog for a long walk. But how it works, it has this nice chunky zipper, goes all the way around. And it's just got this one tab space where it opens, opens all the way. And then both sides um, fold up into the bowl. And they do kind of hold their form, as you can see. So they have this plastic lining in there. That's just a thread in the middle. Um, but yeah, so it's the print all the way around and they're waterproof outside and waterproof inside. So they will hold water. The only thing about these I think that's bad is if you're going to use wet food for your dog, this would not be the best bowl because the way that it is constructed, you know, you have all these folds of plastic. So if you put the wet food in there, it could get all up between the, the creases of the plastic. And I just think that would be really, really hard to get and to keep clean after that. So I think for dry kibble or just plain water, it's great, very great. Um, you could really even put like a serving of dry food in there and kind of fold it up like that and then keep the water side dry and you could actually travel with that one serving in the bowl ready to go if that's something that you needed to do so that's a nice option as well um, so not a whole lot of other thoughts on it it's just a very simple thing um, you just when you want to fold it up you just push in the sides flop the ends in and you do it on both ends and then you just fold it back in half and zip it up. Zip, zip. And there you go. So great size, great squishy format. Um, placement wise, we've got, <laughs> this is totally Lucy's sitting stance, even though not her colors at all. And just miscellaneous dogs there. And got some cut off dogs and some cute dogs. So nice assortment. Kelly's not on there, but there's Lucy one of her multi-personalities. And that's it for this haul. Um, some fun stuff, some functional stuff for sure. Um, definitely heavy on the reactive for today, but uh, there was some other patterns that came out with this, these items and some other things coming out. Plus Disney just came out as well. So if you're a Vera Bradley fan and you're a Disney fan, go check that out. Um, it is the Minnie Mouse pattern. So have fun with that. Bye for now. Washi washi.